I think it's very important to maintain our history. If you go to many countries, they haven't got much history. We have, and what a shame not to make the best of it. There are actually 9,000 conservation areas containing perhaps a million and a half buildings. English Heritage has just found out that one in seven of them are at risk. I was becoming frustrated until I started to meet some like-minded individuals. So now we formed a group, um, we have an official conservation area advisory committee and hopefully together we will be able to work to help save this community. I think you need to have a, a strong body and you need to have people who are um, perpetually looking at things and talking to the councillors and talking to the planning uh, officers. Sadly we don't have a conservation architect for the borough as such and the town generally hasn't got, I say, this expertise needed. But we can do a certain amount for ourselves. We have a preservation trust here which looks after uh, quite a lot of its own property but we also raise profile. The citizens do value their city and I think that has to be taken into account when proposing new developments. We all have a responsibility to help protect our precious conservation areas. Information on how you can help to do that is provided on English Heritage's website and you can also order one of our campaign packs. My advice would be to not give up. Even the most resistant council can be made to pay attention if, if you're persistent enough, if you have enough fellow neighbours um, behind you and who are interested in, in preserving their culture, preserving their heritage. <laughs>